Today we're going to do my rolling tin pan. And honestly, I'm ending this at the end of the year, so this is like my last update before the finale. And I'm not really... I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, part of me wants to do another, another rolling pan, lottery style. The other part of me is like, no, you have too many pan projects going on. Don't. So we'll see how it, how it evolves in January. We'll see what happens. I have three finished products. First of all, I have the BioBell hashtag primer sheet mask. And I actually really like this sheet mask. It's a good sheet mask. I can actually see results. But you're supposed to use it in the morning before you do your makeup. And it brightens my skin. It brightens my skin up so much. It's just amazing how um, lit from within, as they say. It's beautiful. Next, I finished my... <laughs> The littlest bottle in the world called Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask. I like this mask. It's like a minute or two long. It heats up. It's great. It's kind of like um, exfoliating, smoothing, whatever you want to say. And I liked it. I don't think I would repurchase it, but if someone gave it to me, I would use it. Next, I finished off the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. It was just a little, a little sample size. Finished it off. I am not crazy about this. It is just a little too, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like too... There's nothing in here to um, talk about, but it's like, it's too firm. Does that make sense? It's just, I uh, just don't like it. I currently am using the Cabral, and I'm loving it. So, I also use a MAC. I like the MAC Brow pencils. Um, I have the color spiked, and I really like that, too. So, I just didn't like that. But now I know, I know not to buy it. Next, there was the Dose of Colors Blush Blush Like You Meant It. And this is the Mint For You collection. And this is the color Statement. Now, I put this in my rolling project pan in March. March, maybe April. Something like that. It was 50 grams. It is still currently 50 grams. Of course, when I put it into my project, you couldn't even tell that it had been used. Now you can, but it's still 50 grams. This is very pigmented. You have to use a very light hand with a fluffy blush or brush because you can go clown face real fast. I'm currently wearing this. I like it. I think it's a pretty color. I don't have any problems wearing it. It's just you have to go extremely light-handed. This is the the blush that will last you forever. Next, there is the TARDIS Lip Paint in Get It. And I really like this color. I wear it quite a bit. Um, now that it's fall, I haven't been wearing it as much, obviously. But I think I put this in the same time I put that blush in. And it was 18 grams last month. It's currently 17 grams. I'd like to finish it by the end of the year. Let me see if I can... Well, honestly, it looks like it's about down to here. So, saying finishing it by the end of the year is probably a lot. But if I don't finish it by the end of the year, I'll save it for the spring. It, it's a really nice apricot nude. It's really pretty. Next was ColourPop Supernova Shadow. The Kathleen Lights and ColourPop um, collab. This is in astrology. It was 24 grams last month. It is currently 24 grams, which I'm really surprised because I've used quite a bit of that. I hope you can see how much I've used. Let's see if I can get it down further. 
Yeah, it's about down to there. Um, when I first got it, I like used it every day. And you know, as time goes on, you just kind of don't use it as much. I'm currently wearing it today. I have been using it like all week though. I really like that. It's really beautiful. Um, next, this is the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint in Rose. It was 12 grams last month. It's currently 11 grams. It's just a little tiny mini. I have taken out the stopper and I'm having problems getting product out. It looks like you can see windows in it there. But it looks like it's like down to the bottom. It's like to the bottom. I will finish this by the end of the year. I don't see why I wouldn't. All right. It's it's a beautiful color. It's a rose color. I no, I'm not wearing it today. I should have wore it today, huh? But I'm not. Um, next was the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Last month it was 36 grams. This month it is 34. Three grams. I think I've only done like one mask out of it this month. That's what it looks like. It is down to, oh, you can't really tell in this packaging. It's like half gone. But um, I definitely want to finish this up this month. Next was the Ica Skinny Liquid Eyeliner Black. It looks like this. It is a good eyeliner. It's liquid. Um, I use it and I have no problems with it. I'm not wearing it today. The thing about it is it's a felt tip. I prefer a brush tip. So that's my only problem with it. It leaves a nice skinny black line. Um, I have hooded eyes, so what I have small hooded eyes at that. So what I like to do is just line the top of my lid real thin, not very thick at all, just a real thin, and that's what I like to use a liquid eyeliner for. But um, yeah, I, it's a felt tip. I'm using it I'm just slowly. Next was the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Last month it was 11 grams. This month it is 10 grams. It is not a full size. It is like a deluxe size or a travel size or something like that. Um, I am surprised with how much product actually is in here. I've been using it every night and I... Apparently there's a lot of product in here for such a small size. I think... The actual product size is three grams. So it's very small, but you don't need a lot. It's just for your lips. I use it every night when I go to bed. I cover my lips in it, and in the morning, you know, it's all soaked in and nice and everything. And it, yeah. How much are you going to use? Next. Okay, these are the theory three products that I'm adding in because I finished three products. And like I said, this project ends next month, so I'm really trying to put in things that I can finish before it ends. First of all, there was the Scentbird in the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Rose. It's currently 19 grams. If you don't know what Scentbird is, you can sign up to get um, designer perfumes. You can get them in this travel size that's like that big. Um, let's see. Does it say how big? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say how big it is. But it is an actual... Oh, there it is. It is 8 mils. So that is 0.27 um, fluid ounces. But you get... Their travel size is about this big. You can get the cover. I think with your first order, you get the cover. I have it. I never use it. I mean, I'd use it like if I put it in my purse or something. But um, it's $14.95. You can sign up to have it every month, every other month, or every third month. You just like set up a list and it just sends you and charge. It's an automatic charge on your credit card. Now, the thing about it is, is that you can 
skip a month all the time. I mean, I don't get mine. I, I'm signed up for every third month, but if I get a perfume that I'm using, I don't get one. I'll skip a month. Um, this is, I love all the Juicy Couture perfumes. This is a nice one. It doesn't linger very long. I'm not in love with it, but it's nice. I just want to use it up. Uh, I do have a referral code down below. It is a referral code. It's not an affiliate code. I think if you sign up, I get a discount off of my next order or something like that. I'm not even sure. Maybe I just get a thumbs up, but I, I'm not sure what I get. I guess something like for everybody that signs up with my referral code. You know how that is. So anyways, um, next product is the Caudalie Beano Perfect Radiant Serum. This is currently 22 grams. Looks like that. It's about down to here. Um, I love this serum. I'm going to look into how much it costs. I'm sure it's an outrageous price, but I am going to look into how much it costs because I really love this serum. It's great. I don't know if you can see that. But it has the little dropper, put a little bit on your finger, put it on, all of your wrinkles go away. It's beautiful. And the last thing I am including is the So AE Donkey Milk Skin Gel Mask. It's a sheet mask. Yes, it's a sheet mask. And you know what? I don't like masking. But I'm going to use this because it's in my project and I want to get it out of my collection before the end of the year. So we're going to use this whether we like it or not. So that's my 10 products. I really think by the end of the year I will finish, I will finish my lipstick, my Tarte Lipstick and Rose. I will finish my mask. I will finish my serum, my Caudalie serum, this one. I will probably finish my Scentbird, and I will finish my sheet mask. I won't finish the large lipstick. I won't finish the Kathleen Lights liquid eyeshadow. We know I won't finish this blush. And I probably will not finish that eyeliner. I don't know if that eyeliner has long for this world, to tell you the truth. I kind of am irritated with the felt tip. We'll see. So we'll also see next month I'll make some decisions about what I'm doing with my panning project, this panning project. Obviously I'll continue my other panning projects that I'm involved in. But this one I'm not sure about. We'll see next month. Maybe we'll skip a couple of months and then start it fresh sometime next year. So see you later, and I hope you give me a thumbs up, and I hope you subscribe. Bye!